Hello. Today's devotional can be found in the in index to the triple combination under countenance. In reference to 3 Nephi, chapter 19, verse 25. Light of Jesus' countenance smiles upon disciples. Okay, if we choose to be a disciple of Jesus, we stand for him. We serve in his name. We embrace love. According to his gospel, we cannot be afraid to embrace that which we know to be true, and we cannot be afraid to stand for what we believe even when others profess that they no longer believe in it, because there are those out there who simply do not. We cannot give in to the demand that we conform to societal beliefs because a lot of societal beliefs demand that we give up God and our belief in Him and that we exclude God from our lives because man is capable of their own production and success. Well, here's the thing. God created all good things. He put in to the minds of people of how to do things and without that instruction from God people wouldn't know how to do basic things let alone things that created the world that we have today those who are disciple of Christ disciples of Christ understand this and they try their hardest to embrace it for all it's worth they try their hardest to live the gospel and use and treat it as a lifestyle rather than a simple commitment because to live the gospel means to have it in your life not just in different parts of your life but to have it throughout your life and in your life and live your life according to it it is not a gospel of convenience rather a gospel of growth and encouragement and kindness we are all encouraged to embrace it for all that it's worth. And we cannot be afraid to see our worth and the potential that we have to grow through the gospel. The light of Christ's loving countenance can shine upon us as we do so. And through the atonement, we can let go of our sins that we might be able to become better if we so seek to if we seek to. Now there's the thing. The light of Jesus' countenance can smile upon us if we want it to. But if we don't want it to, it's not going to be forced upon us. No! It's gonna... It's going to come if we want it to come, and it's not going to come if we don't want it to come because the Lord's not going, going to impose something upon us we don't want, even though it stands to make us very happy and at peace with life, even if life isn't going peacefully. Our agency is respected above all else, and even if we bury ourselves with our choices, the Lord is not going to force something else upon us. He will let us make the decisions we make. But we cannot choose the consequences of the decisions that we make, nor can the Lord stop the consequences. That's why we need to be careful with each decision we make. It could make or, or break our connection to the Spirit. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.